Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before drawing, let's first see what our reference photo is telling us. So I'm going to draw this headband first of all because it's the main and the middlemost thing in the whole picture. So let's draw this first and other things will be easy to draw after drawing this. It's gonna be super easy so grab your sketchbook and pencil and start drawing with me. But before it, like the video. After the headband is done, let's find the things which are connected to it, like these hairs. I know you didn't like my video still. And now let's draw the nearmost thing that is the eye. Draw a line and then a circle for lens. Don't forget to watch my other videos to get pro at sketching. That's the eyebrow and eyelid. And before drawing any other thing, write the name of the character you want me to draw next. I'm upset guys because I'm not getting any comments from you. So comment down now. After the ear is done, let's draw the mask now. I will give you a ticket to the world tour only if you watch this video till the end. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. So please go and subscribe. <laughs> After the mask, let's draw the nose and other facial features popping out of the mask. I'm not gonna use it after but I'm drawing these just to locate the chin easily. And then after drawing the chin, complete the jawline. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you still don't think that it was easy, tell me in the comment section and I will find better ways to teach you. After it, draw the neck. If you closely observe the reference photo, you may find that every single thing is connected to the other thing. Like you can draw one thing by relating it to the other thing. You have to consider the distances between the things. Like these hairs, they are not difficult to draw because they are connected to the face and the neck. Drawing becomes 60% easy to draw just because you observe the reference photo closely and clearly. And now let's just draw these hairs. Are you still watching? Then take my hat. I'm giving it to you. Take good care of it. For this Naruto thing, I find this easy way. Just draw this nail, a line and a triangle and done! Basic sketch is done and now let's do shading. I'm using an 8B pencil and I think many of you may be wondering what are these pencil called. So these are called pencil grades. Thanks me later. Not later. Now in the comments. Ah, oh, stop, stop. I forgot to tell you what pencil I'm using now. It's a 3B pencil. Now I'm using a 2 edge pencil. For the shading, I'm just folding the reference photo because it was not so difficult for the beginners. But if you don't want to do shading, just leave it wherever you want. Blending किए बगैर भी काम चल जाएगा पर फिर भी मुझे तो blending करनी होती है so let's do blending without blending stamp. Mm -hmm. 
blending is almost done and then you have to do your unique signature in the end. Don't forget to tell the name of the character you want me to draw next. Bye bye, take care of you and wait for the next video. Watch this left video if you want to try another sketch of Kakashi Hatake.